Hi Virgo, this is your reading for the 21st, 25th to the 1st of May 2022. You come in with the Two of Cups, so you could be partnering up in business or in love this week. You could meet your soulmate, it doesn't have to be a partner, a life partner, but it can be a best friend for life because it also means soulmate. Also, I believe that you will be emotionally balanced because that's what two means as well. And the cups means emotions, empathic. If you're not in balance, then try to get into balance. Also, um, we are in Taurus now, so it will be easier and a steadier energy to get into balance and to get to do what you need to do to get your intentions that you've set for 2022 um, into the material world. Also, you have the King of Wands, so you could be dealing with an Aries. We've left Aries, like I said, and we're in Taurus now. That means earthing, um, earthing yourself and steadying yourself, um, also grounding. Um, I'm also hearing um, to get things done, to take action, be pragmatic, um, hands on. That is what I'm hearing. Okay. So definitely this guy is hands on, taking act action, making plans and putting those plans into action. He's also very creative. It's not only Aries. If I say uh, Aries for as a fire sign, I also mean Leo or Sagittarius. That, that could be passion. Like I said, a new passion coming in. Wow. And also set your boundaries because uh, this guy does forget that he is fast and you are um, a little bit steadier and slower so set you can ground him so please set your boundaries and know his boundaries the sun is definitely shining on you as you've got the sun that means that you're in the spotlight where there is a spotlight there is also illumination so you need to do more research um, to uh, get uh, with regards to a situation or a question at hand um, and to get your goal, to get your dream. Time is fertile to get pregnant. If you want to get pregnant, if you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. If you're too mature to get pregnant, then this could be news coming in or you hearing of a pregnancy or a birth. Oh, also, the time you could be moving home, going on holiday to a warm country, definitely going on to the next level in relationships, friendships, or a romance or business. Um, sorry, the sirens are really going this morning. Sorry about that. Also, um, getting engaged, getting married, or starting a family. Like I said, the time is fertile or expansion, uh, expanding the family. This doesn't have to be with a baby. It can be with a dog or a cat or even a horse. <laughs> um, definitely getting something beautiful and uh, something that you love. Also, this can be promotions or wage rises. Like I said, in the next level in your career, also you've got the chariot so you will have victory so long you come into action virgo you've had some beautiful readings the last couple of months and i can see it you are moving onwards and upwards again the next level also confirming the sun card the sun card also represents leo so you've got two fire signs definitely here and the chariot represents uh, cancer. So perhaps um, the coming months, cancer and Leo could be very significant for you. Also, um, you, this is travel, moving home again. You could be moving in together if you're getting married because I do see these two cards are marriage or living together, partnering up with the two of cups. Again, victory. Uh, recognition you're the champion and um, you've also got mental strength uh, this week as the chariot represents a mental strength um, you could be quite telepathic with your partner wow 
Now, it's also a little bit of a spiritual card, I think, because of the telep uh, telepathy side and because it represents cancer and they are empathic and spiritual as well. You know how to uh, be a strong and be mindful. You're beautiful. Also, you've got the Ten of Cups, so this could mean that you uh, are reuniting with family and friends and celebrating. This could be the wedding reception. This could be a housewarming party. This can be a birthday as well uh, of a friend or a father or a mother because we do have the father here and we do have the father and mother, rather, the family here. Also, uh, you will be receiving great rewards for your hard work because you've got rec recognition, you're in the spotlight and recognition with the chariot. Definitely, excuse me, <laughs> um, um, you could also be getting engaged or getting married or expansion again. These three cards means family is important, reuniting, expansion, going on to the next level. The ten means an ending, where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. So, great rewards. Your hard work and determination will be paid off. Right, you will receive your... You've got the crow, I love that. Uh, the crow is number 17, 8, uh, so it's confirming uh, the house of money and the house of power. Crow spirit, co-create with spirit. So, be one, I said to you, spiritual, spirituality is a little bit in your reading. Use your mind, go into your mind, meditate, contemplate and evaluate and connect with spirit. Go outside, get into the sun, especially if it's a beautiful day and know that you're not alone. Now I'm also using Talking to Heaven, the card, and I will always point you in the right direction and it's right underneath the um, chariot. Also, if you've had your eye on a car, then this could be the week that you will be getting the car or an other type of vehicle. But follow your path, your northern note, you're on the right path. And this person, I think it is a man that I'm seeing, uh, hearing, because it's a heavy voice, and he's saying, don't worry, I always will be with you. Just follow your northern star, okay? You might be, he's also saying, you could be standing for a crossroads, a, a choice or a decision. So make it, uh, make the decision and um, you'll be all right because you have, um, you make the right decision because you will follow the right path. You've got victory, wow. Also the color card for this week is yellow. So wear yellow to detox or um, heighten your emotions or your relaxation. Uh, anything like that. Um, also, open up your solar plex, let in the love, laughter and life and be grateful for that. Also, you've got number 23, which is uh, five. So you are balancing out like the two. You've got number seven, which is also good luck. Wow, absolutely amazing. You can drink uh, water with lemon or lemon tea to enhance your vibrations and to clear, clear your system, detox, and go out into the sun. Yellow is your colour for this week. I hope you've enjoyed. This. Sorry Virgo, just, uh, I'll cut it out. Um, just to, in, uh, it's the, the lemon means um, a new start of thinking in a new way. And you've got the mind card, the chariot, the power of the mind. So start thinking positively and you will attract positivity because you are definitely in the line for recognition but stay positive okay that is what i'm meant to say sorry about that start thinking in a new positive way so if you are feeling sad especially if you're missing somebody then know that they're there just reset your mind and they will um, either let you know you might find a feather or a coin or you might have a brush just on one side of you like on the on your chin or on your cheek that is them giving you a message 
letting you know that they are with you. Sorry about that. Uh, I sometimes am too quick. Take care, stay safe, and remember, please like and share and subscribe. Take care.